Hello again. How is everyone? Hope everyone had a very nice Christmas. Um, I managed to get a better light source this time, so uh, we're not quite as in the dark as we were last time. I didn't realise how dark the video was when I went to uh, edit it, but I've got a better light now. We can see. Uh, I finished my uh, adders. I have a half adder here and three um, full adders here. So we've got a fully functioning 4-bit adder. Um, I know it's a bit of a rat's nest of wires, but I've got five programmed into it. Uh, so we've got one, zero, one, zero. That that being the least significant uh, digit. Uh, and five plus five, uh, we all should know to be ten. So we should come out with uh, zero, one, zero, one. So let's test it. Uh, I've got it set up for 24 volts. It. And as you can hear, it has a very nice clicking noise. So this is my output wire here, this yellow thing. And I have an LED here. Uh, unfortunately I have to test each digit one by one because it's going to be a pain to solder all the wires. And I'm going to take this apart uh, to put a proper ribbon cable between them. So I've just got it hooked up temporarily. I managed to get this wire to slip off. There we go. Right, so the first digit should be a zero, which it is. The next one should be a one, which it is. The next should be a zero, again, which it is. And the last digit, I don't know if you can see it, wait a minute, should be a one. There you go. So, calculates successfully. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I got the diodes uh, a couple of days ago, so I managed to put those in, as you can see on the schematic, which I put on my last video. And that works. Um, I also have another thing to say, and I'll be back in two seconds to show you it. Now, some of you might remember these, or recognise them, depending on how old you are. And uh, this is the usual use for them, uh, being Nixie clocks, uh, where you have uh, six uh, Nixie tubes, and some LEDs for colons, but uh, that is the normal use. However, I'm going to use them for the uh, number, uh, the uh, decimal output of my computer. They're uh, fairly cheap, they're about pound fifty in normal money. Uh, so I bought eight of those, and several of these little um, neon things. They're actually Nixie tubes, and they've got a rectangular thing, unlike these. If you can see here, that little glowing thing. They're the standard um, things that are put on power strips, but these are different. These have rectangular uh, um, display things. And anyway, I'm going to use this for the decimal point of my computer, and I'm going to use for the comma for the thousands. Uh, they have a thing here. These. This is the B variant of the IN12 Nixie tube, uh, and they have a comma in them. So I can use that. And I also got these for the binary outputs. For the uh, individual registers and for the adder uh, and all of the ALU output stuff, I've got these, 100 of them. These are INS ones, which are a variant on Nixie tubes. Uh, they are slightly different, they're just a single dot rather than uh, any letters, numbers of any other flavour. So I've got these. Um, I couldn't afford these ones, the uh, upright ones, the ones that are side viewing, because they're about a ten. Well, that's about seven pound fifty uh, in our money, so that's a bit expensive. Uh, and uh, yeah, I also have this to show you, which is sort of my inspiration for this computer. Um, I'll just listen, let you uh, listen to it. It's by uh, uh, Neb Lemon, or however you pronounce his name. If you want to go find him, he's pretty cool. And yeah. Listen to it on my TV. Makes a really nice clicking noise. You can actually see it calculating. Uh, and that's what I hope to go for when I uh, get my computer working. Okay. Bye everyone.